Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about IR sensors. This is one of the most widely used sensors in hobby projects like burglar alarm and line follower robots. If you are new to our channel, just to let you know that we upload and share video tutorials on Raspberry Pi, Arduino and their accessory boards and we build robots, home automation systems and other fun hobby projects. We create and upload new projects tutorials every week. If you are a hobbyist or a Raspberry Pi or Arduino enthusiast, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon next to it so that you won't miss our future projects. Free giveaways will be on next month so make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video. IR sensor or infrared sensors mainly consist of an IR transmitter, usually an IR LED and an IR receiver usually a photodiode. IR LED always emits IR rays to the direction it is pointing to. Now let us bring it closer to a surface. When the IR rays hit a surface, some rays will be reflected back depending upon the color of the surface. Means the brighter the color is, the more IR will be reflected back. Darker the color, more IR will be absorbed by the surface and the lesser IR rays will be reflected back. These reflected rays are received by the photodiode and depending upon the intensity of the received IR rays, the resistance of the photodiode varies which will in turn varies the output voltage. Thus, it is possible to sense the color of the surface by looking into the reflected IR rays. In the case of a line follower robot, it is very easy to measure how bright the surface is which will make it easy for us to track the line. This is a typical IR sensor I got online. But most of the IR sensors will be having 3 pins, one for VCC or 5V, one for ground and the other for output. VCC will be powering up the sensor circuit. The V out pin will give us an output voltage of 5V when the IR light is reflected back to the IR detector. In some IR sensors like this one, there will be analog output which will give you a continuous voltage between 0 and 5V. You should connect the analog output of the sensors to analog input pin of Arduino. This will be really useful when you want to detect a color between black and white. Like different shades of grey. In the next video I will show you how to make a line follower robot without using a microcontroller using this IR sensor. If you find this video useful hit on the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button here. See you soon guys.